Hey fellow comrades, how you guys been doing? It's a boys in here and today's video is going to be very short, uh, straight to the point uh, for the people that are having difficulty playing Pokemon Rogue, uh, playing the following game with a gamepad controller. Now this is going to be covering specifically for the PlayStation 5 DualShock controller because the game clearly supports it. The reason I say this is because when I press A, the game goes in, right? So clearly the buttons are registering. The problem is the D-pad uh, isn't registering and the same can be said about the analog stick for some reason it just doesn't register. so this is where this video comes in because I was kind of debating uh, what's going on then I figured it out and I thought to myself why not make a video about it for all those people maybe there's another person in this planet I mean this game is played a lot that wants to actually figure it out maybe he's got the similar uh, problems uh, I don't know about you guys but I'm a person that tends to look at YouTube uh, as a uh, you know if I'm struggling with something specific and it doesn't matter how specific it is and how hard and rare it can be to find it i always think well it's lacking on youtube so may as well make a video about it and uh, give you an appropriate way to handle your situation anyways so my problem is that the gamepad is clearly being recognized but the d-pad isn't working and the analog stick also isn't working and without those you can really move you can just click a and b and maybe start and that's it you can't really do anything about that so here's the solution okay I'm not a guide maker, I'm really bad with this stuff, this program is something I've just started using myself, so it's gonna take me, you know, for, you know, probably a little bit longer than your usual self, but what you need to download is called DS4 Windows, okay? From my understanding, it's sort of like an emulator that emulates your keyboard uh, to registrate the, the fr and well, basically your gamepad becomes your keyboard, so if you can uh, use the keyboard online through browser then you can also use this gamepad basically that's that's what this is about so you're gonna need to download this program but before that you're gonna need to download a couple of other things that uh, in order to support with this program but don't worry the, uh, the program alone is gonna tell you exactly what you need and the site that I will link in the description is also gonna guide you to the things you need to download okay so we're gonna go through those uh, not in this video at all we're just gonna go directly to the Windows program to the DS4 Windows and adjust the stuff that we got currently going on so here it is uh, I have it plugged in uh, with my USB I have it plugged in my PlayStation controller and uh, basically what we need to do here is well you know first time again I'm pretty pretty new here um, we're gonna try to do try to go with new one again yes uh, you just go there you just click that those buttons right and now we got your controller here right you got your PlayStation controller all set up you know stuff are supposed to work they're being recognized, but the D-pad is really strangely being recognized. Look at this. This looks perfect. This looks perfect. But it's, it's ridiculous, dude. It's ridiculous. But anyways, what you need to do here is uh, you can click here and you can look at your keyboard right here, right? And this is the Xbox controller, if I'm not mistaken, of course, with the logo. That's pretty much self-explanatory. But uh, basically, we're going to be looking for D-pad up and D-pad, uh, yeah, up, up. Basically down, left, right. But let's see if we can find the D-pad though. Uh, or am I confusing here? It's probably making it worse for me. But anyways, what we're going to do is we're going to go to... Yeah, this is up, left, right. We can also do the analog. But uh, okay, okay. So we got up button, right? So we click here. Click on this one. And then you click up, okay? On your keyboard. Then you click down on your know, D-pad basically. And then you click down on this keyboard then you click left and you click left on the keyboard then you click right and you click right on the keyboard and that right there we're gonna put um, we're gonna put I don't know Xenon or something and then we're gonna go save right select profile Xenon save and now when I go to my playing field it works the d-pad works completely so that's a little short guide for you guys uh, if there's anybody out there struggling in figuring out how to make your d-pad work with this game I'm pretty sure they're gonna like completely uh, you know make it compatible in the future but right now at least for me it wasn't the only the a and b worked and everything else had to be changed maybe there is an option to swap some controls in poke rogue that I'm not aware of but that's a short little video uh, to show you how it's done, how to actually make those uh, registrate in your game. And uh, Pokemon Rogue, it's an amazing game, let me tell you. If we competitive players, especially those that played from Red and Blue days, 
and gold and silver. Let me tell you, if there was one thing I always wanted, is for Pokemon to go far and beyond. I mean, Pokemon to basically go beyond level 100. That was my dream come true, and this game gives you just that. I think it's a spectacular game. I hope it's there for years and years to come, and... Um, it's been played a lot. 32,000 players, man. It's been it's been good. I really love to see it. So uh, go there, play it yourself. I will also link it in description. Uh, but uh, also, also, I must not forget. Thank you to Peekaboo. Uh, for uh, your recent donation to me and just a heartwarming touching comment that you gave me to me just thank you so much it really means a lot and um, yeah that that's all i wanted to say for this video happy gaming guys